I would like to give some uh, instructions and uh, explanation on how to practice white tara uh, longevity. Uh, there are different uh, tara practice practices. Um, white tara practice is for longevity and good health. So, um, uh, question. Is it possible to uh, achieve longevity? Um, and what about karma? And uh, some people ask question. Um, maybe it's already determined, determined, predetermined. Um, and how long one could uh, live uh, uh, once on life span, Spain. Um, yes, of course, every, everything is karma. And, um, and, but that doesn't mean that we cannot practice long life practice. And it does not mean that long life practice does not have an uh, effect on us. Because when you practice long life sadhana, long life mantras like White Tara or Amitai's Buddha uh, and, and so forth, you are also creating karma, good karma for long life, this very moment. So there is many different karmas. Karmas of the past life, karmas of the present life, karmas of now and future karma and so forth. So I will explain how does it work for practicing long life mantras and sadhanas. Okay, so when you practice long life sadhana such as Vaitara as recite the mantras, it purifies unwholesome karmas of your past life that you may have a unwholesome karma that you created in the, in the past lives and uh, that makes your life shortened. Okay? You may have a number of unwholesome karmas or maybe one big one or maybe one little one. Don't know. We don't know. But we assume so because uh, from the reincarnation of a uh, reincarnation point of view that we uh, have no beginning so then um, we do know people have a, a short lifespan and we also know ourselves that somehow genetically and uh, and, and uh, we may not uh, live very long because when you look through your experience about your uh, pe grandparents and ancestors and, and they died from a short um, life and so forth and today is very difficult time and uh, there are so many causes for uh, shortening life disease and all kinds of things as you know I don't need to explain to, to, to you so uh, this is why we practice long life Buddhas so it purifies the past life karmas and uh, also, uh, I'm not only talking about negative karmas of the past life, and we have also positive karmas. We have virtues and uh, many, many, many lifetimes we have created good karma and virtues and merit. Some of you might think, how do we know that we have created good karma in the past life? Well. You know, we don't know everything. Of course, human beings don't know everything. And, and um, this is why we uh, call the Buddhas are all knowers and uh, omniscient. And the uh, Tibetan word is Tamche Chemba. Tamche Chemba La Chak Chalo. And so it means all knower. Okay. So we don't know. But when you look at this life, you, you have a good life and fairly. Um, awesome life and you have especially you have opportunity 
to practice Dharma, you are already practicing Dharma, this means that you have created a wonderful uh, good karma in the past life. So then you, you may have many, many good karmas, right? And also good karmas of long life. So when you practice long life sadhana such as white tara and mantras, it brings those karmic seeds that you created in the past life, bringing those karmic seeds, bringing the uh, previous life, long life karmic seeds are ripening, ripening in this life and uh, to ripen in this life. Because it, it would be very uh, helpful at this moment and this life we have the opportunity to practice Dharma. So why not we make it uh, uh, live longer and or in other words extend your life. It's like you're getting extension visa. Okay, Extend your life. So um, this is why we practice long life Tara, White Tara, Sadhana and Mantras and other long life Buddha practice such as Amitayas. Okay. This is why we do it. Okay. Now, now how do we do long life white tara practice? Well, traditionally, you have to receive the initiation of white tara from qualified master, qualified lama and guru. And if you don't have the initiation, you can also ask uh, mantra transmission to the lama. And we call lung in Tibetan word. Lung means transmission. And um, you can get that from lama. And if you don't have the loan, you can still practice and uh, say the mantra. There's no problem because with good intention, with a devotion, you can say the mantras anytime and any place. So now, uh, let's say uh, those of you have received white tara initiation, then you visualize yourself as a white tara. And, uh, you're, you're sitting on the lotus and, and moon cushion. So you say the Sanskrit uh, mantra, Om Sabhava Shuddha Sarva Dharma Sabhava Shuddha Ham. Everything becomes empty uh, of uh, inherent nature. And from the state of emptiness, and I arise myself as a uh, white Tara. I generate myself, visualize myself as a venerable, holy white Tara. And um, so when you say Om Sabhavashya Sarvada Masabhavashya Ham, imagine your ordinary body and ordinary perceptions and uh, ordinary mind dissolved into shunyata, emptiness. And from the state of voidness, you appear, appear yourself as a white tara. And um, so you, first you visualize a lotus cushion and moon cushion, and then middle of the moon cushion you visualize white Thumb syllable, T A M thumb syllable in English. If you don't know the, the Tibetan syllable, then you visualize the English syllable, white thumb. And if you know the Tibetan one syllable, then you visualize Tibetan syllable thumb. That would be good. And you can also learn, and you can learn the Tibetan letter alphabet. Okay, so visualize white thumb syllable standing on the moon disk. When you visualize the syllable, you imagine there are uh, nature, the syllable is a in the nature of uh, light okay, and transparent and uh, beautiful white uh, thumb syllable. Then white light shining, okay. white light shining, white light goes out all directions, ten directions and um, especially white light goes to uh, Buddha realms, pure lands of the Buddhas. And uh, <coughs> this white light <coughs> bringing the blessings of all the Buddhas, also especially blessings of white Tara in the form of white lights coming, descending, lots of white lights descending from all directions dissolve into the white Tam syllable. After that, the white Tam syllable getting bigger and bigger and slowly bigger and, uh, and then 
slowly merging myself uh, into White Tara. So I myself become White Tara. And uh, imagine I'm sitting on the lotus and moon cushion. I got white color, and the white color is color of peace, color of purity. And um, so I have one face, two hands. This time I'm sitting cross leg, Vajra Asana. White Tara sit cross leg, uh, different than uh, the uh, green Tara posture. I'm wearing beautiful silk dresses and jewel ornaments, earrings, necklace, and bracelets and so forth, crown ornaments. I have a, a Ushnisha above my head. Uh, then I have long hair with top knot and the rest of the hair loose and hanging behind my body. And, uh, and uh, I am um, uh, holding uh, white uh, I'm holding, not white, I'm holding uh, upala flower, a blue upala flower and, uh, and in my uh, left hand and sometimes you visualize lotus flower. So either way is fine, upala flower or lotus flower. It's an uh, alternative, uh, I mean uh, optional. So my left hand is in the mudra of representing Buddhas of the three times. Buddhas of the past, present, and future. That means I myself, as a white Tara, I am the embodiment of the Buddhas of the past, present, and future. Okay. And my right hand is in the mudra of uh, giving blessings, giving um, uh, realizations, or helping you to have spiritual realizations. And also, White Tara has seven eyes, like one eye on the forehead, wisdom eye, so that means three eyes, then one eye in, in each, and in palm, palm of hand. And then also eyes at the bottom of her feet, and uh, so all together, seven eyes. So now I visualize myself as White Tara. Once you visualize yourself as a white Tara, then you visualize a um, moon disk at your heart, horizontal, then on the top of the moon disk, in the middle of the moon disk, you visualize a uh, white thumb syllable, seed syllable. And this time, the seed syllable is surrounded by a um, mantra of white Tara. So white Tara mantra is different than Green Tara Mantra. This is a longer one. You visualize Om Tare Tu Tare Dure Mama Ayu Punye Jana Pushtim Puruye Soha. That's the mantra. So longer, you know, extra mantra. You say Mama Ayu Punye Jana Pushtam Kuruye Soha. So Om Tare Tu Tare Dure Soha means liberating myself from uh, this world and from suffering and, uh, and disease and so forth. Omtari. Tutari means liberating from the cause of suffering, karma and, uh, and delusions. And uh, Omtari Tutari. Tutari Soha means liberating myself completely from this life cycle of lives and from samsara to reach enlightenment. Enlightenment. Omtari Tutari Tutari. Then you say, Mama, Ayu, Punya, Jana, Pushtam, Krishna. So then, uh, increasing uh, wisdom, uh, n uh, virtues, uh, Mama, Ayu, Ayu, Mama, Ayu, uh, increasing long life. Punya is uh, virtues, Jana is wisdom. Punya, Jana, Pushtam, Kuri, so Punya, Punya. Punya karma and uh, good karma, virtues. So increase your long life, virtues and wisdom. Punya jana, push them, push them kriya so to achieve a long life CD. So visualize white Tara mantra at your heart, then light shining from your heart. And, and then you say Tara mantra, white Tara mantra, repeat white Tara mantra 
while you're repeating white Tara mantra, imagine white light shining from your heart, from the, those syllables, and light goes inside your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. The entire body is filled with the white light. Also your mind, your consciousness is filled with uh, light of longevity and good health. Uh, your sense field are, and uh, filled with white light of longevity. Your sense consciousness are filled with white light of longevity. Your sense consciousness, primary mind, six sense consciousness. They are what we call primary mind. Eye consciousness, air consciousness, nose consciousness, tongue consciousness, body consciousness, and tactile consciousness, and the main consciousness. All of them are purified. And, uh, and so it means that purified, if, if, if within this consciousness and the body, there is a, uh, in any kind of uh, stains or um, suffering or um, pain or trauma or defilements and uh, subtle disease, subtle defilement, cause of disease, whatever karmic imprints and uh, all of them is purified, completely purified, no more. And you, you imagine you achieve, uh, you achieved a long life siddhi. Sanskrit word siddhi means realizations and powerful realizations, siddhi. Tibetan word for siddhi is mudup, mudup. CD and um, now there I will explain a little bit more uh, visualization this time uh, protection okay protection um, for your life force so we have life we are alive right now okay and because our consciousness is based in your heart chakra from the tantric Buddhist point of view the heart chakra okay your consciousness is supported by prana called life sustaining prana okay. so this prana is uh, important prana it's a very 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 subtle prana and this is a most subtle subtlest prana and it's called indestructible prana and uh, life sustaining prana and that depends on your karma of this life so when your karma is exhausting and diminishing then your prana life sustaining prana becomes weak when the prana of life sustaining becomes weak then your consciousness becomes weak of course your body becomes weak everything becomes weak then uh, gradually life force is diminishing then it makes the life getting shorter, shorter, shrinking, shrinking the life force. This is why people have long, a uh, short life. So when you do the long life Tara mantra and uh, breathing meditation, visualization, it purifies unwholesome karma, you're creating virtuous karma. Then your uh, life sustaining sustaining prana becomes stronger powerful okay so it's like in the oriental philosophy they talk about chi inner chi same thing so your prana becomes stronger and then you uh, your consciousness can remain in this on this uh, life sustaining prana okay and comfortably and happily and uh, you feel that you want to stay you are optimistic and uh, this is how you achieve a uh, long life CD CD okay so um, and also um, you get inspiration in your mind positive mind you get positive imprint that's very important, uplifting feeling. 
then you feel I have a purpose, reason to live. I'm not just sitting here waiting an old man or old lady. You know? I have a purpose to live. So this is why uh, people can live long and uh, not only live long but good health and with good energy. One of my spiritual mentor, mentor, he was a Mongolian Lama. He lived 101 months. Until the last day of his life, his mind is absolutely sharp, clear. And, uh, and he done so much spiritual work, healing and community service and uh, rebuilding Buddhism in, uh, in Mongolia. He, his name was Guru Deva Rinpoche. Everybody knows in Mongolia. And uh, many Tibetan people, community in India, and knows him very well. So I believe that he had a, a long life city. And um, so now you, um, I'm, I'm going to give a short visual explanation on how to do the protection. So then you, you focus your meditation at your heart at that white thumbs level. Now first time you imagine light, white light shining from your heart goes outside your body this time, go around, all the way around, like a tent. We call Kurkang in Tibetan word. Kur means tent, Kang means house, uh, like a yurt, okay, and uh, so it visualize white light, S totally, completely solid, okay. So this is, the white light is symbolized peace, city of peace. So then you imagine your body, mind is all protected. Then you say, Om Tari Tu Tari Tari, Mama Ayupunye Jana Pushkam Kuriya Soha. Then outside that white light, you visualize another light. This time, yellow light. Again, yellow light emanating from your heart, from the thumb syllable goes outside the white light. Another layer of uh, yellow light, like a tent. Tent outside tent, and this white light is symbol of peace. Yellow light is symbol of longevity and prosperity. Okay, visualize. And these lights are very solid, strong. Nothing can enter negative forces. Now, between okay, I'll explain that later. Then after the yellow light, again a uh, red light shining from your heart from the thumb syllable goes out and a layer of red light and uh, like a tent. And the red light symbol of power. You have a long light power. And then you visualize uh, <coughs> blue light. Blue light shines from your heart from the thumb syllable goes out and outside uh, <coughs> red light and very strong, round, solid, and gives you power. Then, and the last one, and uh, you imagine green light shining from the thumb syllable, goes straight outside the blue light, okay? So the green light is uh, what we call the action, action, light of action. And um, so, now five, five colors of light, white, yellow, red, blue, and green, right? So uh, these are symbolized peace, knowledge, prosperity, uh, power, and blue is energy, and uh, symbolize energy and, uh, and healing, and the green one is symbolized action, activity, like a green color is action, and like a green grass, green forest, when spring comes and the leaves are changed, the color becomes green, like that action color. So you have um, four kinds of, um, or actually five kinds of what we call CD in Sanskrit. Peaceful CD, CD of uh, knowledge and wisdom, CD of power, CD of energy, CD of action, karma. So uh, Sanskrit word is Sita. Ratna, Padma, and uh, Vajra, and action. White color, 
re, 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 uh, re, represent Sita, wait, sit, uh, peace, city of peace, Shanti city. And the um, yellow color symbolizes Ratna city. And uh, red color is symbolized uh, Padma city. And uh, blue color is symbolized Vajra city. And green light symbolizes Karma city. I studied Sanskrit myself in Sanskrit University, uh, Sanskrit Vishwavidyalaya in Varanasi in India. And uh, so I know a little bit about San Sanskrit. It is very helpful to know Sanskrit. So you imagine now you have all the cities around and you are protected. And on top of that, one last thing, between these layers of lights, you visualize purple color lotus petals, lotus petals, purple color of uh, lotus petals, filled between all the layers of colors. And you then you say mantra, Om Dari Tu Dari Tu. Mama, Ayu, Punye, Jana, Pushtam, Kuriya, Soha. It's a wonderful, wonderful protection, wonderful for longevity, good health. And I wish you have a longevity. And uh, happiness, much more happiness. Thank you very much.